I'm Stephen Murray. It's been five years since I got hurt. Uh, spinal cord injury high up in my neck. It paralyzed me from the neck down. So much has happened in five years and it's went so fast and it's went so slow. It's a, it's a marathon and you know, just fighting and dodging all these uh, negative things that can come in your way and you know, striving towards just uh, maintaining that positive attitude and you know, giving back to BMX what it's gave me and uh, it's been a wild ride, yeah. Stephen Murray, very big explosive rider. Often say it, Ken and Steven, one of those riders, it's all or nothing. Look at that. Huge accent to turn down flip. Oh my word, no! The first thing for me to do was first and foremost survive. Like, I wasn't supposed to come out of this, and you know, I, I got another chance. So much has happened in five years like so much. It's, it's really led me to grow as a man and be responsible for my two kids growing up. And just the number one thing was for me to fill my position as a dad and then also, you know, to put myself in a, a position to where I could get to rehab all the time and get my body working and moving. And, and then after that, it's like, let's start moving forward. You know, all the boys are coming over and riding my house and they just love it. So uh, being around that environment and being in the mix is kind of therapeutic for my brain. It just uh, it reminds me of what is my bread and butter and what it's all about, where I came from, where I still am and doing what I'm doing. My dad likes watching people ride because it makes him remember how he rides, how he used to ride all the time, every day. I like seeing him happy. He's got to feel so happy that people want to come out and hang out and ride and say what's up to him, so it's really awesome. It's amazing because Stephen, he just became so involved and he's still so much a part of the BMX scene. When he wakes up and he sees his guys here to ride, it must just feel like for him getting back on his bike and sessioning, so I think it's such a good thing and it's great to see it all happening. My name is Aaron Cook. I'm the executive director for Athlete Recovery Fund. What we do is provide benefits to riders in BMX, skateboarding, and freestyle motocross who suffer a severe injury. We help cover the cost that insurance doesn't. With Stephen Murray's injury, you know, we were really nothing before he came along with his situation. I learned everything from him to get this Athlete Recovery Fund started. The Athlete Recovery Fund being the blanket for action sports to where people get injured, there's, there's always that blanket there of uh, help and, and recovery it really has saved uh, a lot of people's lives and families' uh, livelihoods. And it's just been great to be able to do that and pass on the message to stay strong. Aaron, it's Steven, my favorite man. Hi, buddy. Uh, hey, I'm just uh, reaching out to you. One of the biggest personal life changes came to me uh, from my neighbor. He seen a company on TV called Toby. It's an eye tracking device. So what it does is it tracks the movement of your retina. And anywhere you look on the screen, it becomes you, your eyes become your mouse. The Toby eye tracking system, it gives them back a huge amount of freedom and independence. Or things that we normally take for granted that, that we'd like to deal with in private, he can now deal with on his own without having to have somebody else involved. So it's, it's changed his life. To be able to have my independence back, it's massive, it's huge. It's getting, becoming your own self again. It just gives you a sense of freedom, you know? I 
and in my downtime, I think about, you know, what I'm doing tomorrow, what I'm going to do in the next week, what am I going to be doing in a month, what I'm going to be doing in a year. Oh, hold on, what am I going to be doing in 10 years, you know? Well, I want to be out this chair, of course. You know, who knows what's around the corner, you know? So, so 10 years from now, it's a long time. So I guess you could say, I want up and out.